is about that time of year. Today's exciting and exhausting project is actually going to be shampooing these carpets, which means I have to move all of our furniture into the kitchen and I'm actually gonna run out to Home Depot and I'm gonna rent one of the big like actual vacuum, like shampooing situations and we're gonna shampoo the carpets. <laughs> we try to do this at least once a year, twice a year is better. I figured it's probably better to do it before it gets really, really hot and then we won't have to worry about it all summer. So that is kind of my game plan and the sooner we get this done, the sooner it's done and I don't have to think about it anymore. Okay, already making decent progress. This is what we're dealing with. So that was Noelle's uh, crate. This is where our dining room table was. This is where the mirror was. Um, everything is pretty much moved. I'm actually not going to bother with moving the couch. This couch is one of those couches that is like heavier than God. Like I'm serious, like it is so heavy. I've tied the curtains off so they're off the ground. That's where our TV was. That's where our carpet was. It really doesn't look too bad. I just have to vacuum everything. Uh, what is wrong? You're not gonna go outside right now. I know, I suck. I have to vacuum up all of the big pieces, all of the big debris. So I'm gonna do that and then we're going to head to Home Depot and rent one of those shampoo thingies and get this process started. Meanwhile, this is our kitchen. Wow, look at all the stuff in our kitchen. Noelle's like, what is going on? Noelle, I don't even know. I don't even know. Into the tool rental center we go. I got the goods. Can you see? They're back there. We got the Rug Doctor Pro. Well, are you gonna uh, clean the carpets for us, please? We're gonna start in that corner and then go. <laughs> basically done the cat is like I don't know it's gonna be damp on the floor the way she's walking her paws she's like um you how does it feel to have clean carpets good good kind of damp though they are damp but they will be I mean for a while that's yeah. normal but it looks a whole lot better why why is my butt wet so we have to clean up upstairs a little bit before we can shampoo those carpets. But downstairs is all done, which is mm -hmm. great because it's only, it's about one o'clock in the afternoon, which is about right. I figured it would take about an hour, hour and a half to do, oh, which okay. is- Yeah, probably gonna take nothing. a little bit longer. Yeah, it will if we do the upstairs. Um, mm -hmm. The nice thing is we rented this thing for 24 hours, which is great. So um, you can either rent them for four hours or 24. And I was like, meh, might as well do 24 just in case. So we just dropped off the carpet cleaner, right, doctor thingy, my bobber. And it was cool because we got it done quicker than expected and so we got some money back. We rented it for, well I rented it for thinking like we weren't gonna do it all today. And so I rented it for 25, or for 20, 24 hours. We got it done in under like three hours. And so the options were you could rent it for a day or for four hours. And so since we got it done in under four hours, they basically let us rent it for four hours and not the full 24 hours. Now we're going home to basically go pick up the truck. We're gonna go get some food and then we are gonna drive to uh, Lake Mead. Either like drive around it or I'm not really sure what we're doing yet exactly. We just wanna get out and go do something fun because tomorrow we are gonna go hang out with Kyle and McKenna, help them with their yard, I think. And I still wanna hang out at home a little bit and just like build a game a little bit because I, <laughs> I have like no time during the week. When I get home, I'll do like homework and then we sleep. eat dinner. Yeah, we eat dinner and then like I go to sleep. Because you, you never have time in class, like they don't give you time in class to do your reading, like yeah. on purpose. So you have to do it outside of class. Yeah. I kind of want a game this weekend too. Yeah? Yeah. I've, okay. been, I've been playing this game called Northguard <clears throat> that I really, really, really like. I think it's early access or, uh -huh. yeah, I think it's just early access right now. And so they're still like expanding it and like changing things on it and stuff. But it's kind of like, imagine civilizations except 
in Scandinavia and you're like Vikings. Yeah. And that's pretty much what it is. And it's like really, really fun. It's, it's weird because normal, I figured out how to beat like pretty easily. And so normal is a little bit too easy right now, but hard is like ridiculously hard. <laughs> so I have to figure out how to beat hard. And that's kind of like my, that's my thing right now yeah. is North Guard. It's really fun. I have had no time to stream at all whatsoever. I don't even have enough time to basically play WoW. I don't have enough time to stream at all. It'd be like a 15 minute stream. <laughs> be like, yeah. hey, what's up? Okay, now I'm gonna go. I still, I'm still working on my school stuff, like actual school stuff that like I need to do. So that's like one of those things that it's also very important to me, but ALS has to come first just for this month. Like, it'll be over soon. <laughs> We definitely need to get a GoPro. Yeah. Got this mount right here. We have a very expensive GoPro accessory that the we most are driving in existence. <laughs> yes, exactly. So, oh gosh. Oh, hey, you want to hear what McKenna's yeah. saying? McKenna, what did you say? Sounds good. Ah. Oh. We are actually on our way downtown to the Strip right now. We are meeting up with Kyle and McKenna. I thought it would be fun to kind of swing downtown and see them and hang out for a little bit. Um, and people watch, Saturday night downtown Las Vegas. It has to be Boy. somewhat interesting, right? Yeah. Look, there's a pirate ship. Right. The Mirage Volcano. You know, I've never seen this before. I, I haven't I haven't up close. I've seen it from like across the street, yeah. but like supposedly it's supposed to be pretty cool. Yeah, so. we'll, we'll see. Almost missed the last part. <laughs> flamingo. Oh, okay. We're at the Flamingo Hotel where are flamingos. Guys, look at the flamingos. Look at the flamingos. Look at the flamingos. Look at that fish. Oh my god, that's a huge fish. That's a big fish. That is a big fish. Oh, crap, Jay. <laughs> That's a tuner fish, Jay. We're outside at the little exhibit thing. And it's cool because there's like flamingos over there and then like some pelicans over here, but it smells like like bird poop kind of stuff. It's kind of gross. <laughs> Do you like geodes? That one's 30% off. It's only $45,000. How much? Only, only $45,000. 45000 But it's 30% off, so. You're losing money by now. This is like the car dealership. <laughs> yeah. Good morning, everybody. We are actually right on our way right now to go to Kyle and McKenna's house to help out with their backyard. I'm a little bit nervous because I just doused myself in like banana boat sunscreen. And for those of you who've been watching for a really, really, really long time, like since the beginning, I think in one vlog, I must have mentioned that I was allergic to sunscreen. When I was younger, when I was like a kid, I must've been like eight or 10. 
I was down in California with my friends and I covered myself in banana boat sunscreen like I should have. That day, I was covered in hives. Um, and I'm, I think it had to have been the sunscreen because it couldn't have been anything else. Ever since then, I have avoided banana boat sunscreen with my life because I don't want to be covered in hives again. I'm really nervous to see how this goes. We're gonna see if it works out. I'm sure that Banana Boat has like changed their formulation since, I mean, a decade ago. So I think we should be okay. A little bit nervous about it, but we're gonna see. And then on my face, um, I've been using this Avene sunscreen. This is actually pretty decent. It's SPF 50. It feels good. Like it doesn't feel greasy on my face at all. What I'm really wanting is this Boire, I think it's aqua rich sunscreen. It's, it's, it's Asian. It's like either Japanese or Korean. It's probably Korean and apparently it's literally amazing. It's sitting, sitting in our Amazon cart right now. I just have to buy it. Be prepared for a review on that soon. Man, look, look at all the guys working outside. Man, that looks so pleasant. But we're not. <laughs> we're just being lazy. Yeah, right. <laughs> no, but actually we're gonna head out there in just a second. We're all just kind of getting ready right now. Um, the boys are basically sifting through these rocks over here and then the girls are gonna be over here getting all of the river rocks picked up, kind of sorted through the more jagged rocks and then we're just gonna sort them and then eventually we're gonna have pizza. Blake, how's it going? It's great. It's going great? <laughs> Good so far. Actually, it looks really good. I have a feeling we're gonna get lots of progress done back here today. It's gonna be great. Where's the pineapple on your pizza? Uh, nowhere to be found because that's right. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, good news. I don't have any hives. <laughs> the sunscreen actually ended up working out, which is great. We actually got a ton done this weekend. Our carpets are freshly shampooed and we helped Kyle and McKenna out with their yard, which was really great. And after working in the yard for hours and hours in the sunshine, we went home that night. That was yesterday night. We went home, we slept like the dead. It was amazing. And then I woke up this morning and I'm actually kind of sore, strangely enough. Like it wasn't over, we weren't like overly exerting ourselves, but doing, doing yard work is definitely physical, even when you don't like realize it. So for today's question of the day, what is something that you have done in the past that ended up being surprisingly physical? Like you woke up the next day and you were like, wow, I'm like sore. And I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. If you did, make sure you give it a big thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. And we will see you next time. Bye.